It's not time for Python on hardware. All right, there is so much going on in the world of Python on hardware that we had to make a newsletter. And this newsletter, we're almost up to like 9,000 subscribers. I think it's the most subscribed to Python on hardware newsletter. Um, so this week on the newsletter, we have a few things. Yeah. Um, the first thing we have is we were celebrating how many guides we had. Yeah. So it's 2,500. Um, that's a big deal. Good. Up to 2,500. Lots of guys. And then in our newsletter, we also point to our other newsletter, which we do, which is the if you're Internet of Things Monthly that comes out every month. Um, we, we started to cover some things that I think will be interesting in the Python world, um, but it'll probably be interesting in the legal world soon. Um, GitHub Copilot, it's an AI coding assistant. And the, the controversy... I just think this is funny as hell. <laughs> I, know, I mean, like, everyone's angry, but I just think it's hilarious. I think we're actually at a point where we're starting to laugh at lots of stuff versus just get angry. I can't I think yeah, this is a healthy way to laugh. I just think it's yeah. funny. So I was just like, oh, cool. Like, this will be interesting. Yeah. And so uh, the controversy is that this uh, GitHub Copilot thing was trained on all this GPL code. And it then inserts code when you want it. You still have to do stuff afterwards, like compile it and everything. Um, but the debate is, should uh, GitHub, Microsoft, be able to use all that open source code as a training set to produce code for people? And the answer is, don't know. I mean, what's, Listen, what, 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 <laughs> licensing doesn't specifically say whether or not you can Maybe. train data on it. A lot of code that people, look, a lot of code, like this example, it comes from the API documentation, you know, it, it's like, it's a little bit, it reminds me a little bit of the, um, the API discussion that just came up in the court, in the Supreme Court case between um, Oracle and, and Google, yeah. Google about Java. I remember when the judge said, well, it's like if you have a function that determines, you know, the max, like the, you know, max int int and it returns an int, whichever is larger, gives you the larger of the two ints there's really only like one way to write it. Like at some point there's, when your API is high level enough, there's no real other way to write it. So something that just copy and paste, basically is a, is a copy and paste smart snippet writer, is there a de minimis of code that mm. is not licensable because it's, it's such a small amount of code and there's no, no other way of writing it because the API only works one way. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, like um, yes, it's like, it, it's like if it's trained, it's not going to write the entire program for you. It's like it's only going to make sense for small chunks of code because w the longer your your Markov chain is, right, the less sense it makes. So it works for small chunks. And the question is, what is the smallest number of lines of code that is non-licensable because it's so short? Yeah. So I don't have an opinion on this yet because I'm still looking at all the arguments. Um, there's arguments that are like, well, if we were to stop, we as a society and laws, if we were to stop GitHub, Microsoft from doing this, um, a music company could use AI to come up with every song that hasn't been even, every note of every song that hasn't been made yet, and just every time a new song comes out, just like, well, we already made that. You can't do that anymore because we've already did that. So there's a lot of like interesting thought experiments with this, but we'll see because I think it's going to be really interesting, and I think it's going to help people with their code. I just know that all these lawyers are so excited yeah, they're about like, this. Mm. This is like, this is like, mm, this is a, a new flavor. Yeah. <laughs> I've never I mean, had this flavor a, before. Another approach could be where you use this in like, why don't you tell me if my code is definitely broken mode? Yeah, I mean, you know. there's linters. I think an AI linter could be interesting too. Yeah. Okay, uh, next up, the HP Prime G2 calculator supports two types of Python. That is right, more calculators, what more Python. Python. So um, it has a couple different things. Um, next up, uh, Oshpark has six layer boards Yay. for folks that are really into Oshpark. Do check it out. They have pretty fast shipping. And then we went over a lot of the things that you can expect in our newsletter. But the highlight this week, and the thing I'm going to talk about is Mark your calendar, 8-6-2021. It's CircuitPython Day. It's happening. It's Friday the 6th. It's a snaky day. It looks like an 8. It looks like a 6. These are all snake letters, snake, snake numbers. So that'll be um, the day that we do CircuitPython Day this year. So let us know what you want in the chat. Um, we have a good idea. We're going to have interviews with people in the community, projects, kind of a whole smattering of things throughout the day. Other people will do stuff around the world. Um, it's pretty much up to them. Um, we like to have a, a hands-off. We have a central hub and things and Discord and stuff where we do things, but everyone is free to do stuff. 
and uh, have a good sacrifice on day. And that okay. is the Python on Hardware News for this week.